Okay, just a real quick video about winter pond aeration. Uh, we're not really actually trying to aerate the entire pond because if we leave our bottom diffused aerator at the full depth, we do take a chance of super cooling the pond and possibly harming our fish. What we're more doing with winter pond aeration is like the deck out in front of us there. Uh, we have our diffuser right out in front of it. It's going to keep water moving and keep it from keep the ice from underneath the deck and heaving the deck up. So that's part one of winter aeration. Another part is if you have a aquatic plants that you want to keep alive during the winter, you would place your aerator diffuser next to the plants to keep a hole open in the ice so that the sunlight can get in and keep them alive. Because once the ice hits, still no problem, but when the snow comes and covers the ice, it stops the sunlight from penetrating into the pond, therefore all your plants are going to die. Become more muck and toxic gases as it decays at the bottom of the pond. If you were to buy a, say something like a Coair 1, uh, just a small unit to keep a hole open in the ice. You haven't had any uh, aeration at all. You're going to want to, if your pond's 10 feet deep, you don't want to go any deeper than 5 feet deep. This helps with the super cooling. And if you do put it in at 5 feet and you find, or you don't find, but you smell something that smells like rotten eggs, turn it off, move it shallower. Because now you're pushing all those toxic gases into the water column and we're going to take a big chance of harming the fish. So start off shallow, maybe you can sneak it out a little bit every other couple days. Just check it out. So I think that's it in a nutshell for winter aeration and keeping a hole open in the ice to keep whatever you don't want to move from heaving in the ice. Uh, part two was to keep the toxic a hole in the ice for the toxic gases to escape and not let them build up completely in the pond. Step three, or third part, is keeping a hole in the ice to keep your wanted aquatic plants alive. And also with that hole open in the ice you'll actually get some oxygen to air transfer and keep a portion of your pond oxygenated. So there you have it in a nutshell, winter pond aeration. We'll see you next time.